Greens people of YouTube, this is MKN Forever, Tony, and um, yeah, it's been a while since I did a review, and I, I just figured that I'd do some reviews, you know, and uh, this is a review that I'm planning to do on, uh, this is one of three reviews that I'm planning on doing, and um, this review, I just wanted to get this review out of the way, because I just want you all to know that I saw this movie, you probably know what it is by now, it's on the title, of course, now, uh, I will be reviewing today. Drum roll. Machete. Uh, and it's uh, r uh, written and directed by Raul Rodriguez, who apparently uh, it was it was co-directed by Raul Rodriguez. I didn't know that it was directed by somebody else, some some moron who doesn't know what he's doing. Anyway, um, anyway, I'm just gonna talk about this. Uh. Uh, see the re this movie. I have mixed feelings about this movie. So what can I say about it? It's um, it doesn't stink, but it's not great. It's like, um, like one part of me is saying that it's good. You know, there's there's a really good action scenes and, and a lot of the good scenes where there's good gore. You know, and then there's another part of me saying that there's a that it's got a but load of problems, you know, but, you know, I'm gonna give my feelings about it right now, <clears throat> anyway, the movie starts out, we see, uh, Machete, and, um, uh, he's a federale at this point, and, uh, uh, he's in this car with this guy, and I guess his, his partner or something, and, uh, <clears throat> he's gotta go save this girl from a freaking Steven Seagal, uh, Torres, I think his name is. But, uh, okay, right there. There's a problem right there. Um, Steven Seagal, back in the day, he was badass. Nowadays, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know about him. But, uh, him playing a Mexican, I, I'm not, I, I don't like that. Right there, that's a problem right there. But, um, you know, I mean, you, uh, uh, anyway, uh, keep going. Um, he's got to go save this girl. And, uh, we do see some gore right there. Some pretty good gore. There's a scene where, uh, Machete has this big-ass machete and, the, and these guys surrounding him. And he pretty much just does a complete 360, you know, and cuts all the guys' heads off, you know. That was pretty, that was pretty cool. That was, it was cool. Then he, uh, he finds this girl, the girl he's looking for. And, again, another part that I like. This girl is freaking gorgeous. Oh my god, um, incredibly hot, and, um, uh, butt naked, you know, perfect. Anyway, um, this girl is the girl he's supposed to save, this, but, and now, he's supposed, he's going to save this girl despite his, uh, his boss's warning to tell him not to go there, you know, he, he keeps telling him, don't go there, don't go there, you know, and, um, <clears throat> he saves the girl, but it turns out that the, that the girl doubles, Double crosses, double crosses him, and um, she calls Torres in, and uh, she she goes, "How do I do?" And and Torres and Torres, Steven Seagal, he goes, he goes, "You did good, you did good." Then uh, Miko from freaking Sin City shoots her in the head. Right there, I mean, I was like, "Oh man, we have to get rid of the eye candy so freaking quick." You know, I was just pissed. I mean, I, it pisses me when a hot when a girl like that. A hot naked girl like that just dies in cold blood. You know, it, it just pisses me off. I'm like, okay, and um, they kill his fam, his uh, wife, and the family. Well, and um, that's the thing ab about this movie. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna get that into the plot because everybody knows what the plot is by now. You know, but um, I'm just gonna tell you the good and the good and the bad about the stuff. All right. Okay, I'm gonna start with the bad ones because they're more fun. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, here's here's one bad one bad thing. One, this movie is supposed to be, I believe, Machete, right? Well, Machete disappears in the movie for some reason. He, well, he's in the movie. I mean, there are scenes with him, but it's not about him. It's about this and these entire characters. 
And that kind of pissed me off because I was expecting a your basic revenge movie about you know Machete just killing guys left and right and and you know and, you know that's what I was expecting. And number two, this is the thing. That, that brings me to number two. Um, this movie has the same problem that I have. It, it gave me the same problem that I have with Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Well, now, Once Upon a Time in Mexico, I've said this before to my brother. I never said it on YouTube, but here it is. Once Upon a Time in Mexico has too many freaking characters. And everybody tried, and I guess Robert or this other guy, who apparently had something to do with Once Upon a Time in Mexico, uh, yeah, big surprise. Um, wanted to get everybody some screen time or something, I, I don't know. But, um, and Machete, you didn't need that, okay? This is not Sin City, okay? This is about Machete, alright? And, um, there's too many characters, okay? Here's some characters you didn't need. Um, okay, you didn't need just Scalp. I liked her character, but you didn't need her, alright? Okay, you didn't need, um... Okay, she, as she called in the movie, she, um, oh man, I forget the girl's name, um, uh, Michelle Rodriguez, right, um, uh, Michelle Rodriguez, um, she didn't need to be in the movie, she could be, she could, she could have had her own movie, you know, that, that, that would have been interesting if, if you were to want to have like a spin-off movie or something like that, give her her own movie, you know, and touch the immigration part using her, don't use my chat to use her. You know, with immigration, do her own movie. That would have been interesting. You know, I, I might have been interested in that. But um, but you didn't need her character in Machete. You know, because she kind of like everybody's trying to get a little piece of screen time, and and there's barely any left for Machete. You know, for Danny Trejo. No, Danny Trejo is nowhere to be found. You know, and um, <coughs> see um, let's see what else. Um, you didn't need. Okay. Um, Steven Seagal's character, you didn't need him, right off the bat, you did not need him. If you absolutely wanted to get Steven Seagal, you should have put him, like, maybe in a flashback, you know? Let's say that, maybe my, my Chete kills him, no, no, wait. The Machete gets his family killed right in front of him by this guy, and this movie's pretty much just about him trying to find Steven Seagal, you know? And... And not a half-assed fight like the the one they put in in the ending. That that's another thing. The ending it's just it's a little disappointing with Steven Seagal stabbing himself. Ooh, you know it's kind of like down B, and I didn't like that. You know, but uh, <clears throat> you know, there's just too many freaking characters, and everybody's trying to get the little piece of screen time. And uh, I guess I guess the movie. The movie originally was supposed to exploit Danny Trejo, right? And violence and gore and sex. You know, that's what it was supposed to exploit. But in this one, I guess they tried to exploit uh, the immigration thing. You know, the immigration laws. The, the thing, in, the new thing in Arizona. Which, by the way, here's, here's my position on the immigration laws. I, and I agree with everybody because he, uh, he told me his feelings about that and I agree with him. Let us pass. And give it a shot. If it doesn't work, we'll go back. Okay? And if it works, we stay. Okay? And we get our papers done and everything, and we stay out of your way. Okay? Is that so hard? Let us pass. I mean, come on. I mean, get the out of this. I mean, what what do you lose? Okay? You don't... Uh, and it's weird because I live right across the... Right next to the border. I can see the border from where I'm at right now. I can see it's right there. And, um, <clears throat> every time I see it, I go up, uh, like, a little hill that's down the street, I can see the border right there. And I can always see people getting arrested for trying to cross the border through here. But, you know, I mean, that's the, that, well, that's my position. You know, just let us cross, let's, let's give it a shot, if it doesn't work, we'll leave. Okay? If it works, we'll stay. But if it doesn't work, we'll get out of your hair. Okay? And, um, that's my position anyway. But back to the movie, and, um, <clears throat> now, this is, now, I told you about the bad stuff, okay, too many characters, um, the story has nothing to do with Machete, it's a whole other thing, and, um, oh yeah, here's another thing, um, the, the movie, there's this, there's a couple of scenes where, 
where Machete, it looks like he's about to kill somebody, but then for some reason he doesn't. You know, you know that that pisses me off. I didn't like that. If you saw the movie, you know what I mean. I don't need to explain more about that because uh, I'm trying to get this into one video. Anyway, um, anyway, the good thing is Danny Trejo. Okay, you know he, he he's always cool. You know, and it has a handful of good gore scenes. That's what I like too. You know, so so it's watchable, but it's one of those movies where I don't want to watch it too much because then uh, then uh, I might. Not I I might not like it at the end, you know. It's just kind of like X Men Origins. Yeah, it's kind of like that when you picture it because it's it's not bad, but it's not good either. You know, it's right in the middle. You know, it's right in the smack dab middle of of good and bad, and you don't know what to do with that. You're just like, good now what? You know. So uh, anyway, that those are my feelings about the movie and um, uh. My rating for the film, I would give it, uh, it pushed, I would give it, let's see, pretty much a 5 out of, out of 10, you know, I just, I'm 50-50 on this, literally, you know, I'm at 50-50, so, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what else to do, you know, it's, I, it's not a review, it's not a rant, you know, I, I don't, I'm just giving my, my thoughts about it, there are all those movies out there where you don't know what to think, you know, so, um, I'm just going to leave this review right now, and, um, <coughs> if you guys, you can leave your comment down below, and, as, as always, you know, if you didn't like the film, cool with me, if you did like the film, that's cool with me, you know, I'm 50-50, you know, I don't, I'm not going to judge you, even if I liked it or, did, or didn't like it, you know, if I hated it, I'd be cool with what you think, because each is his own, alright, so, leave your opinion on the, if you, if you like, you can leave your your comments on the bottom there and um, you know as always don't be a jerk about it so uh, thank you for watching my little review and uh, stay tuned for my next review which is Stone Cold the 1991 movie Stone Cold you know so uh, anyway take care and uh, I'll see you all later